Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I wanted to give an update of all the work that I put into fixing my kayak. I want to start with a disclaimer because uh, this isn't how you should do it. This is someone learning some of the steps to hopefully be able to do this themselves. Um, and I wanted to share those steps so that people maybe might be able to know what goes into it and learn from my mistakes and the things I'm doing as well. Uh, before I got into this, uh, before this project, I reached out to several uh, friends and people I know that do this kind of stuff. And so I got their advice. I evaluated that against what I really could do myself. Uh, and I knew that there was a chance that it would not look great. So the backup plan was always to maybe bring it to someone if I really messed it up too much, but I don't really mind how it looks as long as it's functional. And it's also another one of those things where I wanna learn this just long-term. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want to have the skills so that it can be functional and I can take care of this moving forward. So yes, it's always advisable if you can to put a keel strip on your kayak. Uh, the design of this particular kayak, at least for in my opinion, makes it a little tougher to put a keel strip. I mean, if I did it myself, I don't think I would be able to get it done well enough uh, I, I, where it would really do what I needed it to do. So since I got the kayak, I've been using it, abusing it, and it's been fantastic. But uh, over time, uh, I've been really abusing its hull, and especially the keel uh, in the back, in the stern, had been wearing down quite a bit because whenever we're dragging it or just pushing off or whatever over many many years of use it was wearing down and i wanted to do something before i had to really uh bring it into someone to do something about it so what i decided to go with was uh just this and i'll put links below if anyone's interested there's many other things and i'm sure other people will be able to uh, advise you on what to use um, but this is what i chose to go with total boat gel coat it's just white and it has wax in it the percentages for, for this one was really easy so it was easy to mix so what i did is it's a two percent mix so with a regular mixing cup i just did 50 milliliters of the gel coat to one milliliter that will give us the two percent of the hardener or the what's it called the catalyst and, and that was perfect because that was the right amount to put that on where i wanted to work and i gave it enough time where once i piled it on I would give it enough time to cure and harden. And every time I came back to it, it was just, it felt like it was a part of the kayak. It really solidified um, really well. So first I sanded down all the areas that I wanted to work on. And also just keep in mind, I, I, if someone professional was doing this, they would tape down the area that they wanted to work in. They would make sure the colors matched. Everything would be done accordingly. I didn't do any of those things. I wanted to just jump into it, give it a shot, and see if I could build up the gel coat again that I had worn away. And I also, I had the mindset that if I got it wrong, I could just sand it down and try again, sand it down, try again. As long as I kept the shape, I didn't really care how many times it took me to try. Uh, or or how really it would look coming out. I wanted it to be, uh, I just wanted it to be effective and to keep the kayak from uh, deteriorating anymore. So I sanded the areas that I really wanted to work on, especially here in the keel in the stern. Uh, so then I started applying the gel coat and I would pile it on where I really wanted to kind of build back that keel that I had worn away. I would let it cure and then I would come and sand away and try to get the right shape. And anytime I had extra material, I started going in other places where I had either really deep scratches or, so I ended up just kind of covering a whole bunch of spots on the hole that I've been abusing for years just to see how it would come out. And, and once I started sanding down, uh, and then for sandpaper, I went from all the way from, I believe from 60 or 80, and then I would work my way up to 2000. And by the time it got to 2000, it got really smooth, especially to the touch. Uh, 
I tried keeping the lines as close to what they should be as possible. And once I got it to that point, especially after sanding with the 2000 that I really liked, uh, I just, I buffed it, I polished it. I used some polish compound uh, and just a regular wheel that you can put on a regular, uh, on a regular drill and it gave it that shine. So while the color is not perfect, you can see the discoloration and all my patches and whatever, it came out awesome. And I've now, I, I had a couple of events that I wanted this done by, and I was able to take the kayak out to those couple of events. It worked out awesome, it held up. And you know, overall, I'm delighted with it. It, it does it look, perfect? No. Most people would think it looks kind of crazy, uh, but that's only when you're really looking at it up close. Uh, from far away, you don't really notice it as much, and realistically, it's white. I'm gonna have love scratches and, and all sorts of stuff all over the place no matter what, as long as I feel like that outer coat of the kayak is once again um, built up and protected. I'm just delighted with it. I also then went with uh, a couple of other places that I had either tiny spider cracks or places that I thought uh, maybe I could just um, sand down a little bit, use some of that extra material and then clean it up. Usability, this was perfect and it worked out awesome. So if you really want to keep your kayak looking perfect, go probably go with a professional bring it in have them work on your kayak and they'll do an amazing job of matching the right color doing it just right and it'll look seamless people that really know what they're doing can do wonders with uh, gel coat with uh, these kinds of uh, fixes if you want to do it yourself be ready for it to not look perfect unless you want to just try over and over and over again until you get it just right uh, I didn't have a lot of time also to do it. I had a short amount of time to get it done before an event. So uh, I didn't have the luxury of letting it cure uh, every time. So I only had, I think either two or three uh, days where I could let it cure enough to then keep working. And after that, I had to be on the road. So I think if I had more time, I might have gone a couple of more times to try to make it as seamless as possible. But to be honest, at this point, I'd rather just leave it as is, use and abuse it for a bit more, and then at some point soon, maybe just redo as much of the hull as possible, sealing up some of those extra scratches or things that are a little deeper that have been there for a while, uh, and then give that a once over again. But at this point, it's I remember uh, Sven, who is a great uh, kayak uh, artist and <laughs> maker, designer, he, he builds skin on frame kayaks and he would always, if, if when people would bring either paddles or kayaks to show him, he'd always say, okay, great, the next one will look even better. And that idea of this is great, the next one is better, the next one is better, the next one is better, just continue learning, continue getting better each time. Uh, it doesn't have to come out great on the first try, but I'm really glad that I gave it a shot. Now at least I know what the process is like and I'm going to be able to fix little things here and there moving forward. If, if you have any tips or any particular uh, materials that you've used that have been helpful, uh, it'd be great if you can post them in comments below. I'm sure other people might love to hear what different, what everyone has used in the past and what has worked for them. This matched my particular white, so I'm happy with this one in particular. Also, you can mix coloring in it. I don't think I would do that. I'd rather just keep it white. And uh, even, even on the other side, or if it's a color, I don't really mind if the fix doesn't match exactly the color of the kayak, but that's because, you know, I'm okay taking all the battle scars and dealing with that. If there's any questions or anything else that you want me to post about how I did it, please leave a comment below as well. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like. And also thank you for everyone that has become a member of the channel. Uh, I know that this month has been a little slow with having actual Zoom or conversations, but the 
the questions and the materials that you're sending in. It's been awesome and just keep it going. Thank you again so much. Luke Dornrick, Al Gipster, thank you for watching and see you next time.